okay you guys so this is something that I've been wanting to talk to people about um, I'm gonna be reading out of Exodus 17 it's it's something new to me I've been studying it God actually showed me this he took me to Exodus 17 like maybe I think it started about two months ago or something like that but I've been getting more and more into it um, I just been going through a lot you know and this this Exodus 17 I want you guys to either if you have a Bible or if you don't just go on your phone Google Exodus 17 you got to read the whole thing um, but it's talking about the spirit of Amalek okay the spirit of Amalek is a spirit that attacks you when you're at your lowest you know when you're when you're depressed when you're sad when you're being attacked by your family members when you ha you're arguing with your husband you're arguing with your your significant other when you're sick um, that's when that spirit attacks okay it's a pretty tough one he he attacks to be able to to be able to beat him you literally have to fight in two different dimensions hold on I got notes I forgot you're fighting in different dimensions with him you got to this is a physical fight and this is a spiritual fight so in order to be able Moses and Joshua they were the ones that had to fight <laughs> the spirit of Amalek oh Amalek so um, I'm just gonna do a quick summary so the spirit of Amalek so let's start it like this so Moses had to go on top of the mountain okay Exodus 17 and he God used him to put his hand up in the air because he was anointed you know God it's, he's Moses he's Moses so while he was in his hand on top of the mountain with his hand up with his hand up as Joshua and the other men were down at the bottom fighting Amalek they teamed up you know what I'm trying to say they teamed up so Moses sat on top of the mountain with his hand up because spiritually that's a battle you're, you're battling spiritually with your hand up in the name of Jesus praying and then Joshua was at the bottom with the men the, the, the men that was chosen which is somewhere around here you got to find it Exodus 17 he help me hold the spirit he they literally took both of them it took both of them a spiritual battle and a physical battle to beat this Amalek spirit this Amalek person whatever it was back in the day um, look it even says here in in Exodus 15 the Lord is at war with Amalek in every generation people are fighting this battle this spirit and they don't even know about it nobody talks about it because I've never heard about it and I grew up in the Bible I have never heard about this and it opened my eyes when I let me tell you when I found out when God showed me the spirit of Amalek everyone came against me my whole entire family came I mean friends the everybody I'm not gonna say no names I don't want to put people out there you can't fight the spirit of Amalek by yourself you have to have people that are gonna back you up people that are gonna hold your hand up because if you read in, in chapter 17 he had where's it at if I can find it oh my goodness let me find it real quick uh, anyways so okay so I'm gonna read a little bit okay so Amalek came and fought with Israel at Riflim Rif Rephidim Moses said to Joshua Moses was the one on top of the mountain holding his hand up and Joshua was the one I was battling the physical battle with Amalek okay so Moses said to Joshua choose some men for us to go fight with Amalek Tomorrow, I'll stand on top of the hill with the shepherd's rod of God in my hand. 
That's the physical, the spiritual battle. Moses is fighting the spiritual battle on top of the mountain. So Joshua did as Moses told him. Wait, let me go back. So tomorrow I'll stand on top of the hill with the shepherd's rod of God in my hand. So Joshua, which is the one that's going to be physically fighting, did as Moses told him. He fought with Amalek while Moses, Aaron, and Hur went to the top of the mountain or the hill. Whenever Moses held up his hand, Israel would start winning the battle. So while Moses was up there with his hand up, they were winning. You know what I'm saying? So Joshua's down there fighting Amalek, and Moses' his hand is he's battling the, the, the spiritual. You know, oh my God, this is just... This is, to me is so beautiful. It took them is teamwork. It was teamwork. Okay? Every time Moses' hand got tired, Joshua would start would start losing the battle against Amalek. Joshua would start losing the battle. As soon as Moses put that hand up, they start winning again. Joshua fighting Amalek at the bottom. So, okay, another thing that I wanted to say. Okay, so Moses was getting tired. Whenever you go read uh, chapter 17, Moses was getting tired, but he had people to help him. A team. When his hand would get tired, he had a team holding his hand up, put a rock up under him. You know what I'm saying? Teamwork. You have to have a tr your your. You just not anybody around you. You gotta have somebody that sees you, sees you fighting that battle. They're gonna be like, okay, what you need? Do you need me to hold your hand up for you? You know what I'm saying? You need a good team around you. A good team around you. This story is amazing. You guys read Exodus 17. They defeated Amalek. They won because Moses was up there with that hand up with that rod. And Joshua was at the bottom and they defeated him. It says here, chapter er, verse 13. So Joshua defeated Amalek and his army with his sword. So then the Lord said to Moses, write this as a reminder, as a reminder on the scroll and read it to Joshua. I will completely wipe out the memory of Amalek under the sky. Moses built an altar there and called it, The Lord is my banner. And now I'm in uh, chapter, uh, verse 16. He said the power of the Lord's banner. Okay? And then it says, The Lord is at war with Amalek in every generation. Every generation. Guess what? I'm that one. I'm that one for my generation. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that right now. It stops here. I, uh, he battles me every day. I, it's a, an attack, an attack, an attack, an attack, and that's the way he works. Whenever he sees you weak, and that's, that's what was going on with me. I was getting attacked from every family, friends, dogs, you name it, bills. And God, this story is just so beautiful. I just need... I just needed help. I just needed people to help me lift that hand up, you know, because it's a spiritual battle and it's a physical battle. So you can't battle Amalek by yourself. You need to surround yourself with people that are going to help you and back you up not backstab you, not talk about you, not, oh my God, she's weak. Oh my God, what is wrong with her? Oh my God. No, go ask that person, what's wrong? How can I help you? How can I help you? You know? So they defeated him. They defeated him. Moses was on top of that mountain with that rod. He never let that arm down. He did not let that arm down, that rod. And Joshua was at the bottom and they defeated that thing. They did. So long story short, you guys have got to you guys have got to stick together with your family with your friends you have to if, if you see your family struggling if you see your friends struggling if you see them going through something spiritually because hello it's everywhere it's going on everywhere you get spiritual battles everywhere 
warfare is everywhere. Help them, ask them, ask them. Don't, don't, don't be an attack as well. Don't you're gonna end up killing the person. You know, you don't know what they're going through. Read Exodus 17, you guys. It's incredible. I love it. I love it. And the Lord is at war with Amalek in every generation. And that's why I get attacked the way I do, because I said, yes, Lord, I will be that one. I will be that one, and I will win for my children, for my grandbaby, for my son, for my daughter, for my mother, for my father. <laughs> I'm going to be that one. Get it right, people. Get it right. I love you. I'll be back. Anyway, hey, you guys, I had a, I had a vision last night. I had to get up and um, God made me record it. I never do this, you guys. He has me, he has me now talking on YouTube. I'm nervous, but it's okay because God is with me. God is with me. Israel defeats Amalek because Moses and Joshua teamed up. They teamed up. God bless you guys. Mwah.